Christopher Fogwell is hoping what lies on the other side of this door and inside a freezer will help unlock some of the answers that scientists are racing to answer. So this is an ice core. This is uh, approximately 30,000 years old. A team of Australian researchers recently took samples from the ice in Antarctica, which Fogwell says is one of the least understood places on Earth. It's obviously so remote from most continents that actually finding out information, finding out the, the kind of knowledge levels about biology or, or climate systems that we know about other parts of the world is almost impossible. But the University of New South Wales scientists says that remoteness and lack of human development makes Antarctica the perfect place to study the impacts from a warming planet. We can use it as a sort of bellwether of climate over the whole world. Researchers say Antarctica is in the midst of massive changes, including ice melt and warming temperatures. But because there isn't a lot of historical data available, it's difficult to simply blame global warming or understand precisely why. Even a small amount of ice melt will increase uh, temperatures, um, uh, oceans will warm. Scientists say parts of Antarctica are becoming greener. Obviously not this green, but it is happening. And the question they say they need to answer is at what cost? That greening is having an impact on some of the animals and ecosystems unique to that part of the world. It's a bad thing because we're going to lose a lot of the really novel ecosystems we have in Antarctica. Um, specifically the dark adapted invertebrate ecosystems which rely on the ice being there almost year round. Which is why Fogwill and other scientists are analysing samples and trying to learn more about Antarctica's past. That's a, one of the really difficult things, because like I say, we've got a very short observational window in Antarctica, so we don't know what's been going on for very long. If we can extend that observational window, go back through the last 100, 200 years, perhaps even a millennia, we can get a really good detailed picture of what climate has been doing. And gain a better understanding of how those changes taking place on a remote frozen continent are impacting the rest of the world.